The civil wars in the Middle East have already turned a fraught region into a conflict trap that makes cooperation seem a distant and some might say quixotic dream. One way to think about the Israeli-Palestinian turbulence that you raised is that it is a kind of an on-again, off-again civil war, which like the others could possibly become a drag on regional stability and cooperation. The degree to which recent events have a significant impact on the prospects for cooperation in the broader Middle East will depend on whether the protests by Palestinians in the West Bank and the Arabs living in Israel become a repeated pattern and whether violence between Hamas and Israel in Gaza recurs anytime soon. Let me start with the good news. Unless there is a major escalation of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, I don't expect the Abraham Accords between the UAE, Bahrain, and Israel to be greatly affected. The two Arab states have not been parties to earlier Arab-Israeli conflicts and economic interests between the countries are quite compelling. But a major escalation of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict could turn the relationships frosty and could slow down implementation of the agreements. What I would say though, is that recent events in Israel-Palestine have made prospects for normalization of ties between Israel and Saudi Arabia less, not more likely. Also, I don't expect much disruption of the fledgling diplomatic track opening up between Saudi Arabia and Iran, or even the UAE and Iran. They are in earlier stage of development and are more sensitive to joint security concerns in the Persian Gulf than to Israeli-Palestinian issues. Now for the bad news. Recent events between Israel and the Palestinians could reinforce Iran's position as a regional spoiler. Its relationship with Hamas and Islamic Jihad in Gaza could be reinforced in the wake of the recent violence, stoking Israeli-Iran tensions and making any efforts to address concerns about Iran's regional activities more difficult. Regional cooperation doesn't normally come in the middle of a conflict, but at the end. This was true in Europe at the end of World War II and in other regions. The Israeli-Palestinian conflict tells us that despite talk about the Middle East being in a post-Palestinian moment, this conflict is far from over and runs the risk of upending any future hopes for a more cooperative Middle East. Thank you.